It is also very interesting, Mariam, that you, as a Muslim woman, you are one of the main voices against compulsory feeling. And this is in your 10-point plan, which is internationally recognized. But I applaud all those women and young girls in the resistance units of the PMOI who are bravely confronting the brutal IRGC, who should be prescribed as a terrorist organization in every country in the world. They will, their hope will be realized. Iran will be free. Thank you. È grazie alla forza, al coraggio e alla determinazione di queste donne che il cambiamento è già in corso. E la voce di questa rivoluzione è quella della Presidente Rajavi, che spinta dall'amore e con la sua determinazione ha messo in moto un'onda. Un'onda che trascinerà via con sé, prima o poi, ogni forma di violenza e di discriminazione. Quell'onda che nessuno scoglio potrà in alcun modo fermare. Behind the facade of Iran's historical beauty lies a regime that suppresses dissent and stifles basic human rights, particularly for women who dare to speak out against injustice. But greatly, the Iranian resistance stands tall and does not know the meaning of giving up. And this gives us hope. Shown by the Iranian women and girls is a testament of the resilience of the human spirit in face of oppression. We must raise our voices against the darkness in Iran. I want to let you know that the Danish people and the Danish government is, is behind the women of Iran today. That the struggle for gender equality and justice remains a challenge with Iranian women demonstrating unparalleled resistance and courage for their cause. We stand in solidarity with Iranian women and their quest for equality, justice, and human rights. Thank you very much. Hoy tenemos que recordar cuando se celebra el 49 aniversario de la Declaración de las Naciones Unidas, como el 8 de marzo, Día Internacional de la Mujer, a mujeres que han muerto en manos de un gobierno opresor como Masa Mini, o como otras mujeres que desgraciadamente ha sido su voz silenciada. We as women have what it takes to win whatever we need to, and most of all, the freedom for our country and the future with the ability to define it by ourselves. We can and we must win against the tyranny. Salut les courageuses filles et femmes d'Iran dans des unités de résistance qui se battent aux côtés des hommes pour la liberté de leur peuple et de leur patrie. J'honore les femmes qui ont joué un rôle de premier plan dans le soulèvement de ces dernières années, notamment lors du soulèvement de 2022, après la meurtre de Mahasa Amini, qui, et qui ont sacrifié toute sa vie pour la liberté et la démocratie. Je réitère mon soutien au plein des points de Madame Rajavi pour l'avenir d'Iran. And today you, Madame Rajavi, are continuing this proud tradition, inspiring a whole new generation of Iranian girls to actively take part and shape the future of their country in a free democratic republic. Indeed, your determination and your leadership is inspiring women all over the world. And with such inspiration and a beacon for a free and democratic Iran, women are now at the forefront of the protest movement and central to the resistance uni units, mobilizing and expanding all across Iran to break through the regime's suffocating and oppression and their misogyny.